what's up guys I wanted to give you another emblem um, I got a request for this uh, this is a my little pony um, you'll have to look up the name for this uh, one of my I've got kids one of them said it's uh, embarrassed or I, I don't even know all I know is it's a my little pony and I was given a request in a previous emblem um, that I made to create it so here you go now guys keep in mind this is for reference I'm not gonna tear it all apart and try to put it all back together again um, this is for you guys who wanted it layer one I use white um, and on my layer I use the full square or the square full whichever way you want to pronounce it and you can see it was the whole background okay for layer two uh, remember before I continue to pause the video if you, you get stuck come back save as often as you like watch the video again if you need to use it as a tool to come back and forward to kind of get what you want okay layer two I use the oven mitt okay and I stretched and skewed it around you can see there how I actually angled it please feel free to pause if you need to okay um, and I used the color that I used let's see here I use like a pinkish tone um, you can tell from your screen um, I'm not a My Little Pony fan so I really don't know guys what to tell you alright layer 3 I used the thimble and I used it to kinda cut off the angle of layer 2 you can kinda see on the top there how I angled it just to give it a smooth rounded edge for the hairline on the top of the ear okay and you may have to come back through this video twice to get your your layout the way you want it um, layer 4 I use the smile outline okay and I stretched and skewed it around you can kinda see here please be sure to pause if you guys need to to get this the right size and dimension and again these are you know they're not perfect uh, this is all about how you want it to look if you don't like the angle change the angle change the sizing layer 5 I used the smile outline again and I just gave it a hook in the hairline where you can kinda see a waving effect and in layer 6 I use the full circle um, what you'll notice with my videos is I use the back layers as a way you'll kind of see here I use it as a shadowing effect now I'll pull this away from the head so you can see without shadowing it would look like that or with outlining effects and with outlining effects you'll actually notice here that it just gives the the cartoon more of a cartoony outline and you can line it up however you want um, and for layer 7 I use the full circle that's the top layer you can see it there I'll move it around and show you that's the top layer Let me put it back in position and it's basically just a rounded circle it's nothing special a rounded circle Let me move it back up again um, it was mildly mildly stretched you can see that it's mildly stretched there on the right hand side okay okay now for layer 8 I used the thimble and I used it for the bottom neck outline and you can see where I placed it to give you know where it'll drop into the background where you can kind of see through the hair okay again remember pause is your friend and num number nine and ten again this is another instance where I use the the backdrop to actually give the texture some outline I use the windsock for number ten we'll go to nine in a second um, you can see how it's it's placed on the on the head okay now for layer nine I use the windsock again okay and the coloration please use your own judgment on the coloration the chart there I didn't have to really adjust anything to get the right color or the right tone everything was pretty much default select um, and you can see number nine um, you can see how it's got its placement 
basically this sets behind 10 and just gives it an outline for the ear that's it I just use it as an outline for you know where it gives it a little more contour a little more detail where it kind of stands out and pops okay now for number 11 I use the quarter circle and that was to give the ear its inner bevel you'll kind of see the inner bevel there with number 11 and that was stretched and skewed around and for number 12 I used the golf flag and that was for the neck you can kind of see how I twisted it around and put it into the place around where it's the pony's neck would go for layer 13 and 14 back to the outlining I'm gonna jump to 14 for you guys it's the full circle I stretched and skewed it around you'll see how big I actually made it it's the bigger oval shape pause if you need to to get the sizing right I will show you the grid okay now for layer 13 use the full circle again and that was just to do the contour the bottom contour again see how it would look without the contouring now with the contouring I just use the contour to come in and just contour to give it some outline around its mouth it's not a big deal you can rotate it twist it whatever 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 visual you want to give any of my creations you're more than welcome to it's not like it's not like it's a perfect art so there you go there's 13 and 14 13 is the smaller of the two okay for layer 15 I use the golf flag and this is another instance where I used 16 as an outline with a golf flag and you can see the right handed layer is the lighter color pink and the inner bevel of 15 you can see that it was pretty much just to give some definition to the hair um, and that was it that's pretty much it it's not that complicated it's actually pretty simple um, it's not hard guys okay for layer let me go back through those one more time so you guys can kind of get an idea okay now for layer 17 I use the smile outline and that I stretched and skewed it you can kind of see there um, I made it a darker shade purple to give the hair again some texture just to give the hair some wave okay for layer 18 I use the thimble and again that was to outline and cut off the back part of the hair because the hair you want it to swoosh around the my little pony to give it like a, a flowing effect and again that was white layer 19 is the full circle and that's the eye you can see the sizing and positioning please pause if you need to or rewind for layer 20 basically a copy paste from 19 um, full circle made it like a blue green color a sea foamish color I use your own judgment you can see the sizing okay moving on layer 21 is the black pupil this will be black and it goes on the inside of the seafoam green colored eye and you can see how the angle is okay for layer 22 full circle stretched and skewed around and layer 23 full circle and that just gives the eyes that gl that glistening look for layer 24 I used the bone and that was for the for the eyebrow and here I did exactly what I did with the hair um, I just pretty much wanted to give it more outline than what it normally would have without I did this to kind of give more texture and I'll put this back in a position here where you all can see um, it's not that hard to do this it's just a little bit of patience goes a long way when you're doing this layer layer 25 was the bone and that's the one that's on top and you can see it's a little larger than the, the one in the bottom and that was just to outline the eyelid and again this is a cartoon so you kinda wanna have some accenting and that just pretty much just gives it an accent for layer 26 27 and 28 I used the quarter circle stretched and skewed it around for the eyebrows and you can see it doesn't matter any order you want to place those for layer 29 and 30 again I did the outlining 
Let's jump to 30. I used the windsock. And again, this was a copy paste kind of thing uh, just to give some smoothness to the nose. You can see how that was lined up there. Use your better judgment. Okay. Again, pause if you need to or rewind. For layer 31, I use the quarter circle. And for layer 32, I use the quarter circle. And this was for the, the mouth and the nose. And there you guys go. That's a My Little Pony. I'm not familiar with the name. I know everyone is a big My Little Pony fan. Or if someone just wants a My Little Pony, then you're a guy and you just say, hey, I want to, you know, a lot of guys use it to say, hey, I, I own this guy. Here's a My Little Pony. A lot of people do that. And, you know, I played with a couple guys who did that. And I'm trying to tweak this one around before I take it off here. But, uh, again, please feel free to, to actually rate, comment, and subscribe my video. Um... I would record myself making these, but these take like up to 30 minutes to an hour for me to create. And I don't think anyone will sit here for that long watching me flip through different layers. And again, this has been the Mad Review. I hope this helps you guys create the emblem that you want. And until next time, take care and don't forget to subscribe.